then we'll make sure you get his prayer letter. You can have it on and uh, find out what's going on every month with that meeting. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Amen. If I say this in my country, I know a lot of people, they jump up and <laughs> praise the Lord. I am honored to be here. Pastor, I thank you so much you invite me. And it's a great to be with you and the whole month. And I never anticipate to come to this church, but God, he has a plan for you and for me. It's not by accident, I'm telling you. Nothing in, in, in his day and night, in God's provision, nothing in accident. <clears throat> if you are really, really, you want a revival in this church, in the community, I want you to assure me first before I speak. Yes. You really yes. need a revival in this church? Yes. 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 You really mean it? Yes. 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 Some people, that they don't even know. You really mean it? Yes. 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 The revival God Almighty he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. We are not faithful. He is always faithful. I will tell you the secret. <coughs> as, as he tell you, within these two years, half a million people, they come to know the Lord. Amen. Amen. They are not just come, I'm telling you. I will tell you the secret. The secret is prayer. Say amen. 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 There is no any other thing because only the only thing you can do is pray and seek God. Amen. This video, I would like to show you a, a little clip and they're talking about is how David, how the King David, you know, I, I know for sure you are, you read that. He took out his garment. He's a king. He took out his crown and he danced before the Lord. The <coughs> king. I want you to tell you. Is this the music one? Yeah, the music ah, one. Okay. Ah. Where's the music volume, Randy? Oh, turn it in. Should be what? I don't know. See the dancing while I get the music on it.
very much. You know, I'm an African uh, speaker. You know, in Africa, there is no time. You guys have a time for everything. <laughs> I don't want to hold you today. I need to quickly finish. Prayer is a power. Prayer is a weapon for your faith. Prayer is the key to open the heaven, the gate of heaven. Pray. I don't know how often you pray. This is between you and God. Don't blame the young people. They are not coming to church. Don't blame the young people. They are not singing and they are not coming to the Lord. Because we, father and parent, is responsible. We are responsible. Amen. If you really mean it, and if you really mean it, you can reach these people with the gospel. It doesn't take much. Only get up in the morning and pray. Amen. <clears throat> Today I would like to share the kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God? Sometimes we don't know. We don't and we Christian believers, we don't understand what the kingdom of God really means. I want you to turn your Bible Roman 17, no, Roman 14, 17. Roman 14, 17. <clears throat> Before I read this chapter, I would like to pray. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, this is your word. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray tonight, teach us from heaven. Speak every individual in this place and give us insight. How is your kingdom look like? Father, we thank you for this opportunity. Bless you increase in this place, we decrease. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and the joy of the Holy Ghost. I will read one more time. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. My dear friend, all our life consume us is a food, is nothing else. Just imagine, what do you, you pray for? For food. What do you pray for? For something you can use it in here, not for the kingdom. The kingdom of God is not meat or drink. All our mind is consumed by food and drink and house, car, and you name it, you, 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 you name it, <laughs> like this. I don't know, maybe you, but me, I never pray. I never seek for righteousness. I never seek for peace and the Holy Spirit. I always pray for my children to get a good education, to get a good husband, to get a good house and car. I always pray for myself to get more money and to build a good house. I don't know about you. This is, this world is not the kingdom. But God, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God, is not like meat and drink. Is what? Righteousness. Amen. And peace and the Holy Spirit. Where did you learn that? What does it mean? I will explain this. What does it mean? Righteousness. If you open 
the word of God, the word of God is a mirror. He can show you who you are. Otherwise, you don't know. You act like the right person. You act like a good person. But the righteousness, pure, pure, holy, because he's a holy God. If it is holy, if he's holy, you want he wants you to be holy. Otherwise, you don't have a place. He is holy. It's not easy to be holy. Living out here is completely difficult. I can understand. But I require you today. I require this church, Pastor. I ask you if you really come to know the Lord and come close to the Lord, there is only one way. You cannot stay strong in the Lord without spending your time. I don't hear hallelujah. Amen. This is a key. I'm telling you, this is a key. I'm, I'm so glad we African, we are not intellectual like you. American, I've been, I live in the United States, okay? I know. You have so many knowledge, so many, so many knowledge. I'm glad we are not like you. And the preacher tell us to do something, we grab it. We hold it tight. That's why the difference is. You guys, you are a lot of uh, technology, you start searching this, searching this, searching this. You didn't, you didn't catch anything. You lose everything. This said, the Bible said, you cannot stay strong in the Lord without spending your time with God. Amen. That's it. If you need a peace in your home, get up in the morning and start praying. Don't complain your wife, don't complain your children, don't complain your neighbor. Get up and start praying. If you need anything, ask the Lord. He can provide. If you get up in the morning, what does it mean? In our country, the church never closed. It's open. Some people, they come in the morning. Some people, they come in the afternoon. Some people, they come every time they come. They don't, when they come to the church, they, they don't talk. Over here, prayer meeting, before the prayer meeting start, you start talking about the, the, the soccer, uh, football, um, the championship, you talk this year. And sometimes they say, sir, we come over here to pray, not to talk about the game. If you really assign yourself to pray, just shut your mouth, I'm sorry for the, this word, come to here and start talking the Lord. Amen. When you go to the doctor office, what do you do? You go to the doctor office and they place you in one room and you wait. When you wait, what do you do? Nothing. Wait the doctor. When you come to the Lord, just wait. Don't stop. When you come to the presence of the living God, you are experiencing the fullness of God and you start rejoicing in the Lord. You start rejoicing the Lord. And Abraham, he rose up early in the morning, Genesis 19, 27. He get up early in the morning. Moses, he rose up early in the morning, Exodus 9, 13. Joshua, he did the same thing. Jesus, he did the same thing. He got up early in the morning, 
Why not you? If you need a change, if you want to see a miracle in your life, get up in the morning. Mary, she rose up in the morning. And you know what she see? She get up early in the morning, she went to the tomb. The first person she sees the resurrection is Mary because she get up early. Daddy, I'm telling you, I experienced this in my life. Get up early in the morning, don't say anything. When your wife seeing you, she start cook, cooking hot food. If you are not praying, she give you cereal. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm not lying. I'm telling you. Uh, like this, when your son seeing you, he starts inspecting you. Hey, daddy, he's not talking to you. This is the best place. You exercise your faith. If you start praying, <coughs> you are not in the, the prayer list. You are out of the prayer list. No sickness. I, I heard the testimony. One farmer, he is a prayer warrior. He broke his leg. And he is the one providing um, uh, food for the family. His wife, she is not farming. He is the only one. And his, his, his leg is swelling like this. It's hard to go to the hospital in Ethiopia. He's in the jungle. And every morning he comes to the church and he puts the leg like this. It's a, truth, it's a true story, I'm telling you. Within a few weeks, the swell is shrink. In the Bible, you know the lady, she bleed years and years and years. What happened? How she, she, she healed? How? She touched the hem of his garment. It's true, but her face healed. Amen. Her faith. You know what happened? When she heard Jesus Christ is coming to her village, she gets, she started getting ready. I will take my God. I will take Jesus Christ. And you cannot talk that kind of thing in front of the crowd. You know that. <coughs> it's bleeding. But she's prepared herself inside of her. I will see him. If I see him, he's going to heal me. She prepared for that. Are you prepared? I'm asking you. Are you? Your children is out there. You are living out there. You are not in a kingdom. The kingdom is like this. We are in the worldly kingdom. It's out the here. If you want to come to the kingdom, you need to walk with righteousness. With, you know, to be pure. There is no any other place you can pure yourself. You need to come over here and sacrifice your body for living sacrifice. Present your body for the living sacrifice. So that woman, she's ready to see Jesus, to tell him her problem. When she see him, a lot of people. She never read. If I touch she garment, I will hear. No, she, she's never read that. There is no in the Bible. She come up with that. My God of mighty. I cannot talk to him, but I want to touch him. She touched him. You know what happened? The power. The power come from heaven. Even he don't, he don't recognize that power. Who touched me? He said. In, we, he, a lot of people is around him. But she took a power from Jesus. You need to draw a power today. 
because you are coming every morning. I'm telling you. It's because of your personal decision. When we were left Ethiopia to run this ministry, I'm not telling you how much is our budget. We went by faith. My God of mighty, he never left. Just like the eye drop, he dropped, he dropped, and we are getting here. Trust him, he's a trustworthy God. Amen. Don't worry about your children. Bring your children here and pray. Amen. Pray. God, he put a God on your children. Otherwise, today is very hard to raise the children. You know, I have three. I have three. Every morning, I get up early in the morning just like Jesus. Because you know why? You need to get up in the morning. Daddy, I'm telling you, you need to get up in the morning. You know why? What is the first fruit? God, he require you the first fruit of your money and your time. If you get up in the morning, even not talk anything, get up in the morning and sit. Sit. Don't say anything. Just sit. The real problem, the believers, is to sit. That's one of the problems. God of mighty, he instructed Moses to build the tabernacle. When Moses built that tabernacle, he built in three sections. The outer section, the inner section is the holy place, and the holy of holy, he got a gate. The holy of holy is here. You read in the Old Testament that. In the New Testament, Jesus said, ask Seek and knock. When you come in the outer court, when you come to church here every time, twice a day, uh, twice a week, once in a week, come over here. Lord, I want you to come over here. This God, he's an architect. He's an engineer. Read. He told Moses the height, the width, the length, the color, how to build the tabernacle. You know that. God, he is not a man. He designed this for purpose. And in the New Testament time, Jesus Christ, he said, ask. You need to have a place that is a secret place in the most high God. You need to ask. When you come to ask, don't come and ask, give me, give me, give me, do this, do this, do this for you, God. This is what we ask him. That's why he talk about in Roman, the kingdom of God is not a meat and drink. God, he want to, to present your body. A living sacrifice. In the Old Testament time, you know, the believers, they bring what? Animal. And they kill the bloodshed. In the New Testament time, we present our body in this place. After that, wait here. Wait. Wait.
sorry. Thank you. When you come over here and ask the Lord, ask the Lord, forgive me, Father. Bring your children. Don't pray for yourself and the loved one. Oh, most of the time, we pray for wife, husband, children. Pray for somebody else. Pray for the pastor. Pray for your neighbor. When you start praying for somebody else, the sovereign God, he's sitting the right side of his father. He starts praying for you. He intercedes for you. Pray for somebody else. Amen. That's why revival is coming. That's why the hunger of God is coming. Otherwise, there is no hunger. Hunger is conceived and birth because of prayer. Come over here. Pray. If you have time, just come. You talk about America is going to the wrong way. Like this. Stop talking that. Come. God is going to change upside down. He's in control. It's not the economy. It's not the president. It's not somebody else. It's God. Amen. Come to the Lord. There is no any other way. You change. You change the circumstance by prayer. But how we pray? We come for five minutes. Hey, give me this. Give me this. You don't even give a chance for God to speak back to you. He get up. He go. That's why we pray. Five minutes, two, two minutes, three minutes. Stay a little longer. The more you stay, the closest you are. When you are close to this, and you start seeking. <coughs> this woman, she's sick first. She's sick. When Jesus comes, she see how wonderful, how good, how mighty he is. She see, she she craves that in her, inside of her. She that that, that thing is my God. Stay a little longer here. To the holy place. And seek God. Seek God. The first fruit every for everything belonging to God. And seek the Lord. Pastor, I ask you, and leaders, I ask you guys, daddies, father, all parents. I ask you, if you really, you need a change in your home. If you really want God to heal you, there is no any other place you spend. Don't go to Kroger to buy, uh, 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 to buy a Tylenol. Sometimes ignore them. When you have a headache, come to the Lord first. Come to the Lord first. If you feel something, come to the Lord first. Today, I ask everyone in the family, come together and hold a hand. Let's pray. It's ex ex just prayer is like exercise. You can exercise it. It's not just coming. And family, please sit together and hold hand and we will pray for you guys. So if you guys would get with your families, maybe you've got spouse here, children here, you guys just get together in groups, and then we're, Hot Brother Holly's gonna lead a section of prayer, and then Brother Stephen's gonna come and lead a section of prayer, and then we'll close out our prayer time. So just get with your families, get together, and fathers, daddies, lead. Lead, lead your family in prayer. Then as you get through, moms, you can take over. All right. Yes.
Don't just pray. 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 Don't wait. Just pray.